Hello guys, in today's lesson we are going to discuss the midpoint theorem of a triangle. We are not going to prove the theorem, we are simply going to learn how to use it. Okay, what the midpoint theorem states is if AD is equal to DB, that is AD equal to DB, and a e equal to e c then we have the line d e parallel to b c and d e is equals to half the length of b c so the midpoint theorem is quite simple. What you're looking for is one side of the triangle to be bisected and another side to be, to be bisected. So it's cut into halves. Then because of that statement, because these two lines are equal and those two lines are equal, then the line DE is parallel to the line BC. Also, the length of the line DE is half of the length of the line BC. You are going to learn where this comes from a bit more in grade 12. You can also apply the information you just learned in reverse. So, if I have the line AD equals to the line DB and I have DE parallel to BC, then we have AE equals to EC. And again, we have DE is equals to half of the line BC. So in the previous statement, we had these sides, this side bisected and that side bisected. And then we know that this will be parallel. But now we have one side cut in half and another pair of lines parallel. Therefore, this line AE is equal to EC and DE is half of the length of BC. Let us work on an example of how to apply the midpoint theorem. In the sketch, we have triangle ABC with AE equal to EB and AF equal to FC. We are also given that the line DB is parallel to FC and information that this is a straight line. It says something like DE is produced to F or it can say EF produces D. Um, it can go either way but what it means if they say produced it means that it's a straight line. The other part of the other information that we are given is that BC, this line BC, is equal to 34 centimeters. The first question that we can have is prove that DBCF is a parallelogram. So if we look at the sketch, we have DBCF. If I highlight it, I can see it looks like a parallelogram, but now we want to prove. That it is a parallelogram and this is how we are going to do it. Firstly what we can see is AE is equal to EB and AF is equal to FC. Because these two sides are bisected it means that EF is parallel to BC, the midpoint theorem. So we can write down E F is 
parallel to BC. And the reason what we are using is the midpoint theorem. And you can use the midpoint theorem because AE is equal to EB and AF is equal to FC. You can either start the statement with AE equals to EB and AF equals to FC, therefore EF is parallel to BC, or you can write it a bit simpler in the way I wrote it, and say EF is parallel to BC, midpoint theorem, and underneath the midpoint theorem, I write the reason why I can use the midpoint theorem. Then, the second part that we have is that DB is parallel to FC, and that was given. Now we have two sets of lines parallel to each other. We have DB parallel to FC and DF parallel to BC. Remember, DF is part of EF. So therefore, this line is parallel to that line. And you can therefore say, therefore, D B C F is a parallelogram. And the reason why it's a parallelogram is opposite sides are parallel. The second question says calculate EF. Now EF is that line given there, and we have information on BC. We know that BC is 34 centimeters. And because these lines are equal to each other, we can apply the midpoint theorem again and say that EF is half of BC's length, therefore EF is half of 34 centimeters. The way we write it is BC equals 34 centimeters given. Therefore, EF is equals to 17 centimeters. That is half of BC. And the reason is midpoint theorem. And remember, we write the reason why we are using the midpoint theorem. This is not as important in grade 10 yet, but I'd like you to learn the skill of writing why we can apply the theorem. So when we move on to grade 11 and 12, it is easy to justify the reason why we can apply certain theorems.